happy Thriving Thursday. Thanks for joining me today. I'm excited today to talk to you about something called planned recovery. You see, we have a lot of chronic stress in our lives. And one of the ways we can manage some of that chronic stress is to have something called planned recovery. And these concepts are probably pretty familiar to most of us, but let's just talk about it's a very simple strategy and a great way that you can really start to build your stress resilience. So what planned recovery says that you need to do is to plan time to recover from stressful situations. Now, because a lot of our stress is kind of just builds in the background and it's not a, an acute kind of stressful situation. We can't often just say, okay, this stressful thing happened and I'm going to take a break and rest and recover from it. So what we can do to kind of manage that chronic stress issue is to go ahead and plan every day to have 10 minutes of just quiet time. And then plan every week to have one full day of downtime. And if you really want to keep building on this concept, you can plan for periodic longer weekends or longer stretches of days where you can have that recovery time, downtime where you're not working and you're not going to events and you're not scheduling play dates with your kids and you're not doing your hobby, all these things, right? You're just going to relax, have some downtime, be quiet, rest, nap, I mean, whatever it is, right? That planned recovery time really helps you to build that stress resilience. The comparison that's been made is to how we build stronger muscles. If you think about building a stronger muscle, we have to do um, like a weight-bearing exercise, right? We do that weight-bearing exercise. We build that strong muscle because the, the weight-bearing stresses that muscle and it breaks it down, right? So when you leave that workout from working that muscle group, that muscle is weaker and it needs recovery time. And you get that recovery time and you get to nourish that muscle and then it comes back just a little bit stronger and you do it again and again and again and that repeated cycle of stressing a muscle and then letting it recover allows that muscle to become stronger and more resilient. Well, the same kind of interaction happens with your stress muscles, right? So we need to have that planned recovery time to deal with the stress that we have on our life in a chronic way. That's all for today. I hope you're planning at least 10 minutes a day every day this week for some planned recovery time to help you become more resilient to stress. Until next week, keep thriving and thanks for joining me.